Hi everyone, it is day two of our um, Christmas week and we are focusing on Psalm 46 and um, in particular uh, this subject of peace. And this Psalm, Psalm 46, ends with the admonition, be still and know that I am God. Uh, we're going to read, read together uh, Psalm 46. God is our refuge and strength and ever-present help in trouble. Therefore we will not fear, though the earth give way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea. Though its waters roar and foam and the mountains quake with their surging. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy place where the Most High dwells. God is within her, she will not fall. God will help her at the break of day. Nations are in uproar, kingdoms fall. He lifts his voice, the earth melts. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Come and see the works of the Lord, the desolations he has brought on the earth. He makes war cease to the ends of the earth. He breaks the bow and shatters the spear. He burns the shields with fire. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. So this Psalm 46 of the sons of Korah, a song, um, we're looking this week at the peace of God. Yesterday we were thinking about God as our refuge. God is our refuge and strength and ever-present help in trouble. Um, therefore, uh, we will not fear, though the earth give way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea. We wanted to think about the fact that God is available. Um, God is always available. He is an ever-present help in trouble. Uh, he's always there for us. Um, he is always available for you and uh, he's never out of reach. Um, the Bible says elsewhere, doesn't it? Um, we can go uh, to the far side of the sea. We can go up to the heights. We can go to the depths. There's nowhere that we go that is away from God's presence. And um, so God is an ever-present help in trouble. He's always available. But he is also um, adequate. There's an adequacy. Uh, he's thoroughly adequate. He's not only our refuge. He's not only available as our refuge, but he is our strength. He is our refuge. He's, he's always available, but he is adequate. He is, he is our strength. He gives us strength. Uh, the, the name of this God um, is uh, outlined in verse 7. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Um, what does that mean, Jenny? The Lord Almighty is with us. Um, the God of Jacob is our fortress. <laughs> well, um in the hymn that we looked at yesterday that Martin Luther wrote, he, he talks about the Lord Sabaoth. Is that how I, is that the right yeah, way? Yeah, sounds good. Um, and that the Lord Sabaoth is his name, the, which means the Lord of hosts, the Je um, Jehovah, the self-existent one. So he's fully um, sufficient in himself. And he is the Lord of the mighty armies. So when he says well, he's our fortress and our refuge, he's also the Lord of the mighty army. So he can keep us safe, but he can also protect us actively. He, can, um, he is adequate in that, in that he fights for us. He fights our battles. You remember that story with um, Elisha and his servant? His servant was frightened because all the armies were coming against them. And Elisha said, Lord, open his eyes. And when he opened his eyes, he could see the angel armies all around him protecting him. And um, I think that's important for you and for me and in these times as well to, to ask the Holy Spirit perhaps to open our eyes. Where is God with us now? Because he is ever present, it said in verse 1. He is available, as Jeff said. He is accessible. He is there for us. So how, how can we do that? How can we um, find this God who's accessible and available and adequate at all times? Because sometimes it feels... We feel a bit lost, don't we? And we feel like um, not quite sure where he's at. But he is not hiding. He is ready and waiting. So how do you think you could access this available God? How can I access God? Mm. Well, spend time with him, don't we? we, we that's what we're doing these mornings. We're, we're, we're coming into the presence of God and we're spending time with him in his word as well. And um, in his presence, as we were thinking last week, in God's presence is fullness of joy at his right hand of pleasures forevermore. And this, this God of Jacob, who is our 
fortress, um, God of the Lord of hosts who is with us. The Lord Sabaoth is his name. Uh, Jehovah, the self-existent one, the God of the mighty army. So it says God is a self-existent one who has unbelievable resources of power at his beck and call. Um, and and that is um, that is who we're coming to. He's not only somebody that we can come to that is accessible to us, but he is also totally our strength. He is also stronger than any opposition and anything that could come against us. Um, the, the Lord Sabbath, the God of the angel armies, the God of the mighty armies is on our side. But also, he's, he's not only a God of amazing power, but he's also a God of amazing patience. <laughs> he's described here as the God of Jacob. <laughs> the God of Jacob um, is our, our, our fortress. You know, and what, what do we think of when we think of Jacob? Well, Jacob was a bit of a mess up, to be honest. He was, uh, he was known as a deceiver, a twister, and uh, they deceived his brother and uh, fancy being called that as a, as a name. And, and yet God worked with Jacob. God uh, gave promises to Jacob. God had an inheritance for Jacob and uh, God was going to use him powerfully and, and bless him. And uh, he is the God of Jacob. He's a God of patience. He's a God of a second and a third and a fourth chance. The God who can take somebody like Jacob and, and turn him into a, into a, a leader and a, a patriarch and uh, somebody that was used powerfully by God. So God is, is the God of Jacob. He's a God of patience, but he's also the Lord Sabaoth. He's the God of power. And uh, he, he's, he's um, the one that will, uh, that will help us and protect us. He, he's, he's a refuge to us and he is our strength. He is accessible to us. He's available to us. He's adequate for us. Um, he's readily accessible. He's very present help in time of trouble. I like the um, verse in Hebrews 4, I think, where it says, let us come boldly to the throne of grace and ask for what we need. So um, perhaps today that, that can be our mission, that we come boldly to God with, um, with all our faults, with all our problems, like Jacob. You know, Jacob was far from perfect. We're far from perfect. But God is still the God of Jacob. He's still your God and our God, and he loves you the way you are. So shall we... Pray together and come boldly to the throne of grace and, and ask for help. Father, we thank you that you are an ever-present help in time of need. You are the Lord of the mighty armies, the Lord Sabaoth. And we just come boldly to you now and we just ask that um, you would help us today, that you would help us, that you would make your presence known to us, Lord God, that we would be aware of you with us and around us at all times. I pray for your peace in this time, um, especially in this crazy Christmas season and COVID times. And we just pray for your peace to reign in our hearts. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day and we'll see you tomorrow.